Even in the world, the bizarre world of the SCPs, there are certain ones which fit into a, a higher bracket of bizarrity. And one such is SCP-173. SCP-173 was moved to Site-19 in 1993. SCP-173 is currently, as yet, of unknown origin. It is constructed from concrete and rebar with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. SCP-173 is, bizarrely, animate and extremely hostile. The object itself cannot actually move while within a direct line of sight. And the line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. Personnel assigned to enter the container are instructed to alert one another before blinking. The object itself has been reported to attack by snapping the neck at the base of the skull, or by strangulation. In the event of an attack, personnel are to observe Class 4 hazardous object containment procedures. Personnel reports indicate sounds of scraping stone originating from within the container when no one is present inside. This is considered normal, and any change in this particular behaviour should be reported by the acting HMCL supervisor on duty. The reddish brown substance on the floor is a combination of feces and blood. The origin of these materials is still, as yet, unknown. The enclosure must be cleaned due to this on a bi-weekly basis. The special containment procedures for SCP-173, it is to be kept in a locked container at all times. When personnel must enter the container, no fewer than three may enter at any time and the door is to be relocked behind them to prevent an outbreak. At all times, two persons must maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173 until all personnel have vacated and relocked the container. So what is SCP-173? Little is known, but also if you cast your mind to other pop culture universes, the angels of Doctor Who strangely bear a striking resemblance. Obviously, I'm not insinuating that SCP-173 is like the lowly angels of Doctor Who, but what I am insinuating here is that there may be a connection between the two. The origin of the feces and blood is potentially from SCP-173 or from those that accidentally lost direct line of sight with the creature. Only to maintain direct line of sight once more, when the creature had moved within an inch of their current standing. And as such, they may have actually evacuated their bowels. In terms of the blood, again, who knows. But I do want to hear what your thoughts are of SCP-173. As yet and currently, this is one of the most popular on the SCP Wiki. A lot of people were asking me on SCP Sunday's video with many voices what SCP actually is. I encourage you guys to go and check out scpwiki.net. Please do let me know what you want me to actually talk about next, what ones you think are worthy to put up on this channel. I would love these suggestions. This is a universe ripe for the exploring. So guys, this has been me, Mr. H, exploring SCP-173. As always, please do leave your thoughts down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more weekly SCP readings. And please do share this and give it a like as that helps me out and tells me that you want to see more. As always, I've been Mr. H and I'll catch you in the next video.